Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gaming here. About to get into some Middle Earth Shadow of War. We'll quickly go through the in game settings so you guys can see what I'm using. So, a resolution of 3440 by 1440. V Sync has been disabled, dynamic resolution has been disabled, and there's no maximum frames per second limit either. Into the advanced setting now, as you can see, I'm using ultra settings, motion blur is disabled, anti-aliasing method is TAA, and everything else is set to ultra or high or maximum. So, as you can see, um, you're already using quite a, a lot of the video memory available, 8.5 gigabytes. So it's uh, one of those games that do eat up the memory, but that's something we learned from the very first Shadow of Mordor. And, um, this one's using 9 gigabytes right now, so it's a good job my GTX 1080 Ti has 11 gigabytes of video memory available. So, um, the game looks decent. I wouldn't say it looks much better than the first one. You can see there's, it, well, I would say it's an improvement in overall detail, but um, it's not a major upgrade. And I'm getting decent performance right now, over 100 frames per second, so I've got no complaints on the performance at the moment. Try to sneak up on this guy and uh, stealth attack him. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for their captain. I'm going to try and take him out, because uh, these guys are making a siege on Gondor. I think this is the last human city that's standing at the moment, so we can't allow this to fall into enemy hands. See if I can find a good way to take this guy out without getting seen. Prefer to, that's the guy I got to take out, but I'd rather take out his reinforcements first. Orders. We're rear guard. Sneak up on this guy. <laughs> So I've attracted him to come into the bush, and that's the last thing he's gonna know. Okay, not too many left. So if I can attract this guy over here as well. It's a little closer. There's one guy that tried to sneak up behind me. There you go. Oh, miss that? Almost messed that up. Okay, so I've got this guy on his own now. It would seem. Let's have a look if there's anyone above. Yeah, he's on his own now. Not even when he's been swallowed up by mortals. So I'll grab him and get some intel. I see the right. Okay. Ready got details on him, I can guess I can learn something about someone else. Go towards the objective now. Probably should take some high ground that way I can at least have a know what's what's waiting for me ahead. There's actually not much going on. The game seems to be on a wider scale now. Okay, I'm just gonna fight this group. Man fell. It's the Grey Walker. I thought he was dead. He is. Carrying the bow. Oh, 
that's pretty serious. It's a good tool. It doesn't look good for the Gondorians. We have to help. The Palantir is a powerful artifact. If we were to possess it, we could turn the tide. Okay, why is it telling me to come back here? I've just investigated this already. Oh, so I've got to move it in range so I can find the footsteps. I remember in the first game, if you shoot the fire with the bow, it causes an explosion. Let's see if that's still the case in this game. Yeah. We need to target the captains. Get some more bows, arrows. I mean. So performance is pretty steady. I haven't really seen it drop below 70 frames per second at any stage. And uh, it does make use of all cores. The Wraith world will reveal his presence. Okay, so we've got to look for this captain now. Here he is. Skark. Okay, so he's the guy I gotta go for. Take out a few of his followers first, that might help me. out before they noticed. I'm not going to waste too much time, I want to go and the main guy. It's your job to secure the seeing stone. No doubt they've hidden it, but we will tear open every room, every vault, and every Gondorian to find it. Make me proud, lads. <laughs> okay, so if there's a Good time to attack. I'm surprised I don't see the drunk around the grog maker. That's because he can't. Yes, not to fight these guys. The assault cannot be stopped. Your brother's here dead and butchered. And there's nothing you can do about it. Skark. Kill him. I wanted to interrogate him first, but I guess that's the way it's gonna have to go down. Let's see what he's left me. So you can just equip yourself with new weapons, basically. Why are you out here alone? My raiding party was trapped in the lower city overnight. How many of you were there? Not enough. Well, the inner Seathal still stands. We're about to lose the middle city, Ranger. 
They'll be closing the gate if they haven't already. We need to get up there as fast as we can. We'll be right behind you. Wait. What is your name? Idril. Tell you. Don't fall behind, Talion. We've lost enough men today. So that's my first look at uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. More of the same, to be honest. I haven't really seen anything new from the first game, but it's still a good game. So that's pretty much it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.